Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in previous session we have uh, discussed about how to handle the single exceptions in Python and in today's session we'll discuss about how can we handle a multiple exceptions in Python. So multiple exceptions. So in, in the previous session we have discussed about the different blocks. In the try we are uh, supposed to write the instructions from which we are expecting the exception. And whatever the exceptions raised in the try block, that will be handled by the except block. And here, in the previous session, we have discussed about how to handle the single exception. So directly we can write the instructions what to be executed if the exception is raised or so whatever the exception it may be. And you can also specify the exception name. You can also specify the exception name so that if that particular exception is raised, this except block will be get executed. Now, how to handle this multiple exceptions. So these multiple exceptions can be written in two ways. Okay, implemented in two ways. That means writing multiple accepts. So writing multiple accept blocks. Right? So here accept exception name and again you can write one more accept with another exception exception name and similarly you can write again except with the exception exception name right and so on so this is one way how to handle the exceptions if you are writing uh, here in the try block if you are uh, writing the instructions and if you if, if in these instructions if you got any exception that particular block will be executed so here we are specifying the exception name so based upon the exception raised in the statements written in try, that particular block will be get executed. Right? Otherwise, we can use a single accept with a multiple exception names. So by using a single accept or accept block also, we can handle the exception. Single accept block. Right? So you can handle these exceptions in different ways. So multiple exceptions can be handled by using multiple except blocks, single except block. So how can we uh, uh, handle the multiple exceptions using single except block? So simply write the try and write down the instructions need to be get executed and uh, where you are expecting the exception and write down the here the except, except give the exception name, exception name one comma, exception name to comma and so on so you can specify the multiple exception names in a parenthesis for the except block so in this way also you can handle the multiple exceptions by using a single except block right so these are the two different ways we can handle the multiple exceptions one is by using the single except block so specify the exception names a comma separated ex exception names in the parenthesis to the except block or simply use a different except blocks with a exception name right so these are the two different ways we can handle the exception so now uh, i will demonstrate with a small example how can we handle the exceptions multiple exceptions using single except block and multiple except block so let's move on to the system so that uh, I will explain you everything. So if you are ha still having any doubts, your doubts will be clarified after watching the execution. Let's move on to the system. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the theoretical part of uh, handling multiple exceptions in Python. And now I will show you with a small example. So let us take uh, a two different uh, errors. Okay, that means the exceptions. One is a zero division error and another one is an index error. So first let us write the try block. And here I will give the two exceptions. One is a division by zero and another one is an index error. So first uh, let me take the two values. So int of input enter value of a and b is equal to int of input enter value sorry 
and enter value of b right now also take the list l is equal to 10 20 30 40 50 five elements in the try block i am supposed to give c is equal to a divided by and print l of l of c 0 1 2 3 4 i'll give 5 so we are we can expect two different exceptions one is the uh, zero division error and another one is the index error now we can write the accept block and here you need to implement the different accept blocks right so i will give two different accept blocks one to handle the zero division error another to handle the index error so i'll give this one so zero division error so here you can print divide by by zero exception raised so whenever the zero division by zero exception is raised automatically this accept block will be get executed and i will write one more except uh, to handle the index error index error right so here i, I will print index is out of range okay index is out of range now we can write a one more except so which can handle any other exception right any other exception simply you can go with this one print exception raised see if i execute this one it will prompt for a and b i'll give 10 and 2 so there will be no zero division error there will be no zero division error so automatically coming to this one list of index 5 so index 5 is not available so we can get the index error so automatically accept block will be get executed see if i execute this index is out of range so except this in the except block is executed and if you give this input 0 divided by 0 automatically the zero division error has been occurred and this particular accept block will be executed that means even though you are writing in the multiple accept blocks only one accept block will be executed that is also the first exception raised in the instructions written in the prior so whatever the exception raised first that particular block will be executed see if i write here if i write here some uh, d is equal to i will write some python plus 20 so i am supposed to add a string with an integer so directly we'll get the type error type error okay type error exception so is there any any except block written for the type error no so here we are having the three except blocks one is for handling the zero division error another one is handling for index error and third one is a generalized accept block that means other than these two errors if there any error occurred automatically this accept block will be get executed so now if you give any value so if, if even though if you given zero the first exception raised is a type error so automatically exception raised will be occurred see 10 and 0 sorry previously i have not executed so now i now you can observe here see exception raised okay so previously we have already executed and uh, we have given input but we should we we have not press enter so then we have modified this one so that's why once again i am executing this one so we got this 10 and 0 even though it is a zero division error the first line is a type error the first line is a type error so automatically this accept block will be get executed so because this the error the first exception is a type type error exception so we have we have not written any speci special except block for the type error so automatically this except will be get executed right and this is one way to handle the multiple exceptions other way we can take a single except block we can take a single ex except block specifying a comma separated exceptions see index error see i have given comma separated exceptions in the parentheses now 
you can observe here if you execute so 10 and 0 so exception will be raised and if you execute 10 and 2 exception is raised because here there is a problem now if you trying to access 4 okay and uh, let us take uh, the string is equal to let us take the type error okay so we have not written this type error in this exception so if you give some 10 and 2 so there is no exception zero division exception is not there in the second statement l of 4 so fourth index 0 1 2 3 fourth index there is no exception so automatically 50 will be displayed and in the third line we are having the type error but in the accept block we are writing this accept block to handle only the zero, zero division error and the index error so we have not mentioned any type error so obviously we'll get the error so just a second so if you execute this one so give the 10 and 2 there is no zero division error so automatically 50 is displayed there is no in exception raised from the second statement in the third statement there is an error that is a type error which is not mentioned in the accept block so obviously we'll get the error here and if you mention the same thing here type error so then the type error is also has been handled right so we have to specify a comma separated exceptions multiple exceptions in a parenthesis in the accept block or else simply give the exceptions here and write down the multiple one more exception which can accept other than these two errors right see type error or simply uh, just give accept or accept uh, exception as e so that whatever the exception is right that will be stored in e so print e so if you give 10 and 2 there is no zero division error there is no index error so we can get can only concatenate string to each string so that is nothing but a type error that's nothing but a type error right so if you given like this string is equal to some d is equal to int of let us take abc so which is nothing but we are trying to convert the numerical uh, sorry character strings to integer this is not possible so we'll get a value error so if you write like this and if you execute there is no zero division error and there is no index error then so what is this one exception is raised okay okay we have given zero right so once again i will give 10 and 2 so there is no zero division error so if you can see print e that means invalid literal for int with base 10 abc so we can specify either the exception as e or we can specify the exception name or you can simply leave it you can simply leave without specifying any exception so that can handle any other exception any other exception exception so 10 and 2 you'll get exception so this will be executed so hope you understood this one how can we handle the multiple exceptions so one thing by specifying all the exception names the comma separated exception names in the parentheses in the except block one more thing we can specify each and every exception with a single except block i mean individual except block so if you want to handle uh, four exceptions we can write a four except blocks so even though there are multiple except blocks only one except block will be get executed based upon the exception raised in the statements written in try the only one except block will be get executed right so hope you understood and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much